With this graph, we are going to look at how the optimal consumption point changes when price changes. Given on the graph are our indifference curves. They represent our preferences. Higher indifference curves represent things we like more. Lower indifference curves represent things we like less. Things on the same indifference curve give us the same level of satisfaction. When we combine that with what we can afford, represented by the budget line, then we can determine our optimal consumption point. That is, how many songs and how many DVDs are we willing and able to buy. The budget line you see here shows our optimal consumption point of 60 songs and 2 DVDs when we have an income of $100, songs cost a dollar, and DVDs cost $20. But what happens when the price of DVDs falls to $13? The indifference curves do not change because they represent our preferences. What changes is the budget line. So we need to first construct a new budget line. If we have $100 and songs cost a dollar, then we can afford 100 songs if we spend all of our income. If we spend all of our income on DVDs, we have $100 divided by the new cost of a DVD, which is $13. 100 divided by 13 is 7.69. To construct our budget line, we'll draw a dot at 7.69. Now, we know it's not possible to buy 7.69 DVDs. But the reason that we plot this point is because there are combinations on this budget line that are whole numbers of DVDs and whole numbers of songs that utilize all of our income. Once we have drawn this new budget line, we find the optimal consumption point. That is, we find the point that uses all of our income to maximize the value to us. This is represented by the highest indifference curve that just touches the budget line. Our new optimal consumption point is now 3 DVDs and 61 songs. We see that when the price of the DVD falls, we are now willing and able to buy both more DVDs and more MP3s. Now, while our actual income, the amount of money in our pocket, hasn't changed, it's still $100, what has changed is our real income, or our buying power, represented by the fact that we are now able to buy one more DVD than before, and more songs than before. Now, let's consider what happens if the price of a DVD falls even farther and now it is only $10. Again, the budget line will change and difference curves will not. We construct a new budget line. At $100 of income, we can still afford 100 songs if we spend all of our money on songs. If we spend all of our money on DVDs, at $10 a piece, we can afford 10 DVDs. The calculation for this is 100 divided by 10 is equal to 10. So we have our new budget line. And again, we want to find the optimal consumption point. That is, how can we maximize the benefits given the costs and constraints. So we find the new optimal consumption point, the highest indifference curve that just touches the budget line, occurs at 3.5 DVDs and 65 MP3s.